Hi chemists, this is the last video in our series of videos on conversions with the mole. In this video, we are going to focus primarily on volume. By the end of this video, you should be able to calculate the volume of a gas at STP, and you'll know what that is in a second, given the number of moles and vice versa, and you'll also be expected to perform two-step volume conversions. So for example, if you were given atoms to volume, in this case, liters. Mole to volume conversions are very, very simple to do because all you have to know is the number 22.4. So for any gas, no matter what it is, whether it be oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, as long as the gas is at something called STP, which is standard temperature and pressure, which are just basically specific conditions that the gas will exist under, the gas will occupy a volume of 22.4 liters. One mole of any gas equals 22.4 liters of gas, as long as that gas is at STP, or standard temperature and pressure. Standard temperature and pressure is equal to zero degrees Celsius and a pressure of one atmosphere, or one ATM. For example, this question says, how many moles of helium gas will occupy a volume of 149.3 liters at STP? Just like usual, we'll start with our known and our unknown. We'll put our known over one. And then as soon as we see that it's liters of helium, it doesn't matter what gas it is. Remember, as long as it's at STP, you're going to use the conversion factor 22.4 liters. So 22.4 liters is going to go on the bottom and one mole of helium is going to go on top. Liters and liters divide out and you're left with an answer of 6.665 moles of helium. At this point, we have already learned how to convert from moles into particles and vice versa by using the following conversion factor. We have also learned how to convert moles into grams and vice versa using this conversion factor. And then we just learned how to convert moles into liters or volume and vice versa by using this conversion factor. We can put this in a really helpful summary, and so this is definitely something I recommend you write down in your notes. So this is called the mole road, and all, ro all roads lead to the mole. So use this visual to help you solve mole problems. So for example, you can see I, I wrote volume, mass, and particles all around the mole circle. If I asked you to go from mole into volume, you would have to use one mole equals 22.4 liters. If I asked you to go from moles into particles, you would have to use one mole equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd and whatever those representative particles are, if they're atoms, molecules, or formula units. And then finally, if I asked you to go from moles into mass or vice versa, you would use one mole equals the molar mass of that substance in grams. This is also a really helpful visual to um, convert with two step problems. So for example, like let's pretend if we're looking at the volume up here. So maybe the known in a problem is volume and I'm asking you to go all the way into particles. You can clearly see to go from volume, you have to go into the mole and then you have to go from the mole into particles. Conversely, if I said to you, I want you to go from mass into volume, so if the known in a problem was mass, you would have to go for mass, use the molar mass, then you're at moles, and then to go from moles into volume using the 22.4 liters. So this is a really helpful visual, and I definitely think this would help you if you were writing this down on a quiz or a test. So let's try an example. So it says, what volume of 4.32 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of krypton gas is occupied at STP? So we'll start with our known, which is 4.32 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of krypton. Our unknown is how many liters of krypton. So we'll start with our 4.32 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. We'll put it over one like usual. And then if you're looking at your mole road, right, the only conversion factor that relates atoms, you have to go to the particles part, um, is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. So we're going to have to use that number and put it on the bottom. Then atoms of krypton and atoms of krypton will divide out. 
if we solve the problem right now, our answer would be in moles. However, we actually have to go to the volume part of our mole road because notice that the unknown is liters of krypton. The only conversion factor that relates volume is the 22.4 liters conversion. So what I'm going to have to do is put moles on the bottom and then 22.4 liters on top. And then you can clearly see that moles and moles divide out. And then you want to make sure you multiply by everything on top and divide by everything on bottom. And you should get an answer of 16.1 liters of krypton. So hopefully that gave you some practice with using that really helpful visual called the mole road. I know you're going to do just great on this unit, so keep up the great work. Thank you so much for watching.